morning warriors please 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 do not mind the lighting but it is 6 30 in the morning and this is about as good as it's going to get um and also please excuse the <laughs> dark circles and bags under my eyes because last night was yet another in a long succession of horrible nights of sleep um i swear i just I go through these phases. I go through these phases where I just, my sleeping just sucks. So I am definitely in one of those phases. But you know what, that's neither here nor there because we're going to start off on a positive note, right? Um, with the quote of the day. So the quote that I chose for today is, we all make mistakes, have struggles, and even regret things in our past. But you are not your mistakes, you are not your struggles, and you are here now with the power to shape your day and your future. And this quote is by Steve Maraboli, I believe. I probably just butchered his name, but you know what? It's okay, okay? Um, and the reason that I chose this quote is because I don't know about y'all, but I hate having regrets. Um, <laughs> so one thing that I have been doing recently that has really been working for me, and I don't know, maybe I'll talk about it more in depth in like another vlog if you guys are interested. Um, but I have been like asking myself, for example, at the start of the day, what will I regret not doing or getting done at the end of today? I don't know, this just helps me to feel, well, number one, it helps me to feel more proactive, but it also helps me feel more in control of my life and feel like I have more power over how things turn out and what kind of mental and emotional place I am in at the end of the day or week or month or whatever. And I, I love that feeling. So to tie in with this theme of regrets, the journal prompt that I chose today is if I gave up on my weight loss goals, and for you it may just be like your health and fitness goals, what is the one thing that I would regret the most? And if you have more than one thing, it's okay. And when I was personally answering this journaling prompt, I talked a lot about how I would regret feeling restricted by my body for the rest of my life and the things that that would hold me back from doing especially like travel like i know like if i traveled right now i would be so freaking miserable uh, it also holds me back from activities that i love like dancing and doing spray paint art um, and just being able to do simple everyday mundane things without it feeling like a monumental undertaking, like just walking up and down stairs or tying your shoes. You know what I mean? I just, I feel like that is the one thing that I would regret the most, even more so than poor health, if that tells you anything. So that's just what I talked about. And if you feel comfortable sharing what you would regret the most, make sure to comment down below and share with us. So I realized when I was driving that I didn't give you guys the mini challenge for today. <sighs> I am just like majorly slacking and just very sleep deprived. Anyways, so the mini challenge for today is to ask yourself, what is at least one thing that you will regret at the end of the day if you did not get done? And this doesn't have to be like weight loss or health or fitness related. This can be anything. It's just practicing, like being cognizant and aware of what our goals are, even, you know, like short daily goals or long-term goals and working to fulfill them. So for me, I think what I would regret the most is continuing to put off studying the the DSM-5 diagnoses, um, it's specifically like just kind of memorizing the criteria for like depression, anxiety, PTSD, etc. Um, just because if I do that, it will make my job as an intake specialist so much less stressful. Um, but I have been putting it off and putting it off. And I think today is the day that I need to stop doing that and start studying. Um, maybe I'll even do flashcards. I was the flashcard queen in high school and college just saying, um, I don't know, for me, there's just something about writing something down that helps cement it even more in my mind, uh, probably because reading and writing is one of my like top learning styles. So I also think I would regret it if I didn't have a dance party before the end of the day because I haven't had a dance party since I moved here. And that's a travesty. Bosley, Bosley, come here. 
Oh, the community like, hey, me. And of course today it decides to rain. And I thought I had an umbrella in my trunk, but apparently I don't. So let's add that to the list of potential regrets at the end of today, not putting an umbrella in my trunk. So it is lunchtime and I'm headed over to Trader Joe's to get some like pre-packaged like salads and things. Um, also some fruit, probably apples, but we'll see what looks good. And I know that I will inevitably get someone who's like, all you're eating is carbs and fat right now. Like you need to be getting more protein in. And I mean, first of all, I agree with you, <laughs> anyone who feels that way. Um, but really right now when it's coming to my eating, my only two goals are one, um, not to binge. And if I do binge to binge less or to like only eat like 75% of what I would normally binge on versus like a hundred percent. And then my second goal is to eat out less, preferably not at all, <laughs> which has been extremely hard because as I said in the vlog yesterday, I have had zero desire or energy to cook like at all in any way, shape or form. Um, so I basically have been relying on like pre-made meals and frozen vegetables like the steam fresh vegetables that I can just throw in um, the packets of like sticky rice that I could stick in the microwave just anything like that because I'm like I would rather be eating those things than like McDonald's right or having pizza delivered so those those are my only goals at the moment are less binging and less eating out also doesn't help that I have not been able to find freaking rotisserie chicken anywhere and I haven't had any time to like drive out to Costco um, <laughs> so I haven't even really been able to get like pre-cooked meat and I am really not a fan of like deli meat so that's been a no-go. And basically all I'm trying to say is I will definitely get back to the point where I am eating more protein. Those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, y'all know I love me some protein. <laughs> um, in fact, usually my diet, diet um, and eating when I am like more focused on weight loss is very high protein just because I usually feel like the most satiated and have um, the least amount of cravings when I'm on like a higher protein diet. Although I can't do like super high protein and really, really low carbs like keto. That that does not work for me. I definitely need to be getting some carbs in still. Um, <clears throat> but I will definitely get back to the point where I'm eating more protein. It's just that right now, like macros and things like that, that's, that, that's not my focus. Oh look, it's my new favorite grocery store. I've never wanted to buy a cactus before, but I kind of am today. Ooh, succulents.
Is it obvious that I like the Asian salads the best? I know what you're really curious about and it's Laura. Did you buy a cactus or even a succulent? And the answer is regrettably no, um, but I will definitely consider it when we move into our new building because apparently the natural lighting there is incredible. So I did however buy some pre-cooked hard boiled eggs. So I will get some extra protein in. I am the one the way your son don't need So I just got home and I'm grabbing some ice water. Um, I'm not feeling too good again. My stomach is just not feeling well and I just feel nauseous. So I don't know when or if I'm going to eat tonight. Um, I may just make like a bowl of... Um, like canned soup or something. Like I think I have packed away probably like some chicken noodle cause I'm just, ugh, nothing sounds appetizing. My stomach just feels gross. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it probably doesn't help that I have been eating a lot more fruits and vegetables just because I've been craving them. And I'm like, you know what, if I'm craving them, I'm going to eat them because the rest of the time, I don't crave them. So <laughs> I have been eating a lot more fruits and vegetables, which my digestive system does not like. So that is probably adding to my stomach issues at the moment. <sighs> Cause immediately after lunch today, I was like, oh, my stomach. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait a while if I do eat, it'll probably just be like a can of like the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Um, I need to do my DSM-5 studying for today so that I don't regret not doing it. And then maybe I'll watch like a K-drama or something. I don't know. Look familiar? Poor appetite or overeating? Check. Insomnia or hypersomnia? Check. Low energy or fatigue, check, check. Low self-esteem, sometimes. Poor concentration or difficulty making decisions, absolutely. Feelings of hopelessness, sadly. It's always interesting to look up your own diagnosis in the DSM-5 because you're like, oh, <laughs> I guess my therapist really did know what they were talking about when they diagnosed me. Imagine that. And for those of you who are wondering, I am for the most part right now, I'm kind of in an upswing. I've been doing pretty good. Like my um, dysthymia symptoms haven't been too severe. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I got out of the work situation that I was in and I moved and I've also been trying to, you know, get in fresh fruits and vegetables. And I was trying to spend more time outside when I was, you know, where I was living before. But since I moved here, I haven't been able to because of the wildfires and I'm asthmatic and asthma and wildfires and smoke and ash in the air just do not mix. I don't know if you all knew that, but it's, it's a thing. Basically, July, August, and September in Washington state, <laughs> I can't go outside. But yeah, I definitely have been feeling better in terms of my dysthymia or like high functioning depression. Um, I've also been trying to like do things that make me laugh and smile and bring me joy. Like my other YouTube channel, you know, reacting to just fun, cute videos. Um, 
So I think that's been helping as well. And I don't know if it's just me, but I swear that like reading or studying the DSM-5 is like going on WebMD or Mayo Clinic <laughs> when you have symptoms because every time I get done like studying or just reading it in general, I'm like, okay, so I have at least 10 diagnoses and all of my friends and family members have at least two apiece. Luckily, the educated, trained therapist side of me kicks in and, you know, like reins me in a little bit, but yeah, it's a trip. Ugh, sorry, I just had like a wave of nausea. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Not fun. Well, it's about eight o'clock and still super, super light outside, which is just weird. Um, but I, I didn't eat any soup. <laughs> That just did not sound good at all. So what I've been kind of snacking on is some grapes and nuts. Um, Cause I figured if nothing else, I'll just get some calories in that way without like a lot of bulk. So I've just been kind of like grazing on them. Um, yeah, I just, I'm feeling super nauseous. I didn't even, I didn't have my dance party and I definitely regret it, but dancing and nausea do not go hand in hand okay it just they don't i didn't even do like a one mile walk away the pound video because i'm just like oh i just mm. <laughs> i feel so freaking nauseous so what i think i'm going to do is i'm just going to go take a shower and get in bed and like put on a movie or a show and hopefully and just fall asleep and get some decent sleep tonight and wake up feeling better tomorrow like that that that's the goal make sure to comment down below and let me know how your day of no regrets went because obviously mine didn't go too well i mean i did study the dsm-5 so one out of two like that's that, that's better than none it's 50 percent more like that's literally an f but that's okay life happens nausea what? happens stomach aches happen it just you gotta go with the flow and that's one less thing that I regret at the end of today. All right, warriors, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in my next daily-ish vlog. Night.